Okay, YouTube, if you watched any of my granite videos, you'll see that uh, Ikea kitchen the easy way. Make sure your planner plans your lower cabinets out properly, or at least watch my one on the granite. But anyway, uh, I decided to start working on the lower cabinets. I'll do a separate video on each of the interesting cabinets, like, you know, the, the corner unit and the kitchen one and the trash pullout, stuff that looks a little scary to me, but... So far, this kitchen one, I was kind of wondering, thought it might be a little scary. Uh, anyway, they give you these brackets uh, here. I guess you put two of them in here and these little cushions in here, I don't know, for this cabinet here to push against or the face. I don't have a door that opens here. It's just going to be a, a flat panel across the front because that's what my wife wanted. So they give you this bracket. I put this one in. I didn't put one in the back. I've got granite going in here. I don't know why in the world you'd want one in the back. I think it's support for a stove. If you put a stove cut out in there instead of a sink cut out or whatever. But I'm putting a sink cut out with granite. So I don't have to worry about any more additional support in the back. Also, I did want to point something out. In the little instruction book, they said for me to uh, put this bracket here. In the very top set of holes then i'd only have this whole 10 inch piece with one bracket on it they should have it set up for two brackets you know but i moved it down as you see to the third set of holes then only one of the big screw holes lined up i screwed it in i pre-drilled into the bracket and put a short little screw in make sure you don't use one too long and uh because I thought it'd be better if it was if I'm only going to support it with one bracket instead of two, one top and bottom would be ideal. I uh, thought at least be in the middle would be the best. So it looks like it's going to work out pretty good. And I wanted to show you something. Had it in my hand a second ago. Uh, well, you know that's what happens when you work all kinds of crazy hours and then at working night shift 84 hours a week and then. Trying to do a cabin daytime. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. Look, you see that tape on that little drill bit? When I pre-drilled, when I pre-drilled this in here, don't drill through the front of it, and don't think that you you won't get a piece of tape put on your drill bit, and just go in a little ways. That that tells me to stop right when I get to the top part of the metal. And I, because it'll drill real easy, and if you drill through the front of it, you'll ruin the panel, then you'll be hating on me. But I just thought it'd be better to have the bracket in the middle, or put put the bracket at the top, put an additional one at the bottom if you got extra bracket. I just thought one in the middle would be good enough, and it it looks pretty good. So of course, my instructions don't show me how to do the door, uh, since I already did one uh, door unit on an upper cabinet. Yeah, you, know, you just clamp these things in. That is the slickest setup I've ever seen in my life. That works so well. So I just clamped them on the door, and then I hold the door up here, like where it, you know it's almost got to go there, to top. And I just had my, sorry, I just had my hinge there. And so what I did was, I just marked which two holes I'm going with, this one, and that one. And then you know you don't have to worry about counting or nothing or figuring it out. Uh, I did want to point something out on these little brackets. Do you see these brackets? They almost look like they're exactly the same. But I put the first two in backwards. Look real close at them. I'm trying to focus here. This is a little bit different. It's kind of, I've got the, you know, those things pointing down. And I'm just looking at it. If you look at here, it's got kind of like it's not straight. It's got like a little build out here. And this screw here on the left is closer to the front. That goes, if I remember right, that goes this way. Don't turn it around and put it that way, because then you can't get your thing to lock in. You can't figure out why. Then you get to try to take these things out and this Ikea stuff. Once you screw something in, have to take it back out, you start wearing on the press wood. Not a good idea. So just take a real good look at that bracket. Make sure that the it goes this way, towards the front. Okay? Their instructions kind of threw me off because they show a right-hand side on their most of their pictures on the instructions. So if it was the right-hand side, it would, again, go like this. Anyway, all right. I'll just start labeling these like kitchen cabinet or stove unit or kitchen sink unit, stove unit. That's what we got going on here. 
next videos I'll do the lazy Susan that trash pull out thing looks a little spooky but we'll see this actually proved out to be you know almost a five-year-old could do it all right